Hey, in this video we will show you how to work with Defect Dodger. First of all, our pipeline creates a project entity in Defect Dodger and in it a so-called engagement. For simplicity we can think of it as an audit, which contains some findings. The next step is to run the scanners. The results of scanners can be found in the Engagements tab in Defect Dojo. We open it and select the one that corresponds to the number of the pipeline. After opening the engagements, we see that findings are from certain tools. We open the Findings page. We see that we have found a lot of vulnerabilities and we have to somehow verify them. We will return to this later. Now we open our pipeline and make sure that all the scanners worked and we can start the verification process. For example, let's open any finding and look at its contents. Here we see that an XSS have been found, but in order to exploit it, we have to send a POST parameter. Let's say we want to mark a finding as false positive. What do we do to do this? We select the finding via the checkbox and click on Bulk Edit. There we mark status and false positive. Simple as that. Now about how to verify the findings. We open any file and see there a line of code and the name of the file. We open the file in Git and go to the same line. We make sure that the vulnerability is there and go and change the status of finding. A verified status means that the vulnerability has been checked. An active status means that the vulnerability has been taken up for patching. At this point, a vulnerability can be verified but inactive. If you move it to active, this does not mean that it becomes verified, so such vulnerabilities should be marked both verified and active. Vulnerabilities that have been taken into work will be located in the Findings tab. From there you can create a task in Jira and Defect Dodger will track status changes. After we have worked with all the findings, it is worth closing the current engagement. To test the deduplication feature, let's run another pipeline. It will try to create a project, but it won't succeed because it already has one. After that it will create an engagement and add all the findings to it. An important feature of Defect Dojo is that it uses the queue functionality, so if not all the duplicates are loaded, refresh the page after a while. Those vulnerabilities that Defect Dojo deemed unlike previous ones, it will mark as new, and those that were similar as duplicates. We're glad if you found this video useful. See you again!